hey guys welcome to another diy video i am tori and today i'll be showing you how i create my one thousand dollar placeholders if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video Okay guys, so to get started, I have already got my Cricut machine to cut out the design of my placeholder and I'm just gonna go ahead and weed them. It's the vinyl, why this is bending. I don't like this brand of vinyl, but I'll just put this here and then I'll go ahead and weed the words. I'm gonna go ahead and weed the border I'm gonna go ahead with this first. And then I'll just transfer the vinyl over on the transfer tape. Just wanna go over it multiple times so we are definitely sure that the vinyl sticks on and then just peel it back there it is so i'm gonna go ahead and just add the words to it So now that this part of the design has been completed, we're going to go ahead and get a laminate pouch to start laminating. So we're going to open the pouch on the end that is already sealed. This end that's sealed, I'll place it inside. I'm doing multiple. You could put them in any order that you like. Up to you. Then go ahead 
and place it in. And if you haven't noted before, I place my vinyl on the side of the laminating sheet that's not glossy. So the glossy side face the table and then the non-glossy side is where I put my vinyl on. Then I'll go ahead, enter it inside the pouch. So all three holes Just want to take this part over. Yeah. Then close the pouch. Just to go up a little bit more. So this is it. And what I'm going to do is I'll cut off the excess and save this for another project. So I'll go ahead. So this part is cut off. I'll save that for another project. And then we're gonna go ahead and place this inside the laminating laminator. So next we're gonna place our laminating pouch from the sealed end into the laminator. So now that we have laminated or placeholders, we're going to go ahead and just cut them. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and round the edges. Here they are and gonna just show you that they do fit in with our envelopes there I'm gonna try another style of envelope and then it does fit with these pouches and this is a A6 envelope. And it should be able. So there you have it, guys. And just going to compare it with a $5. It's around the same size of the $5 Canadian note. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this tutorial and want to see more like it until next time bye